Hello Philippines! I'm recording this video because it makes me sad that there are people out there who right now lost their respect for me for something I'm not even a part of. It's been almost two years since I have worked on anything directly with NAS. For a long time now, I have fully focused on the Project Nightfall organization. That is the only way I managed to grow it to so many people from all around the world. But some people still group me and Nas like we're the same person, working on the same things. We're not. But taking this aside, I need to address a vital post that people connected to me. A post from Louise, who wrote a lot of bad stuff about things that my friend Nas allegedly said two years ago. Guess what? I was there. I went there to work on a video about Louise too, so I can give you my version. And trust me, I could have just stayed silent and in a few days forget about this, but if there's one thing that I really dislike, it's when people build their careers while taking other people down. It's very unfair and so I need to tell you what happened exactly. For starters, okay, before we even begin, the details of her post are not strong from a logical point of view. Can you imagine anyone with millions of fans from all around the world, a public figure, to say highly offensive stuff in front of a total stranger. I have never heard him say any of these words, because if he actually said them, I would be the first person to hold him accountable. I can't believe how easy it is to write something on the internet and have hundreds of thousands of people instantly believe in it, without any recording, without any actual proof. A written post with mostly disabled comments can just go viral and it instantly passes off as truth. I can't believe it, honestly, it's the first thing I see something like this on my own skin. So, the video about Louise was one of the biggest surprises I have ever experienced on my journey. We took a few hours long plane to fly only for that video few hours flight. It was a story that has even been covered by the UN, so we thought it must be verified. Normally we wouldn't take a plane for one video. Okay, so we come there and we started recording it with great energy. Louise, honestly, is a great young woman. Very good energy, she was excited, a little bit shy, but very, very smart. Like, I cannot say anything bad about her based on that day. So, I went with her and we took videos around her cocoa tree plantation. The trees were beautiful. Everything was going well in the area she invited us to. But the moment we left her plantation, we started facing a lot of problems. Her program was meant to help farmers grow cocoa trees instead of coconut trees so they can make more money. And so we went to see farmers growing these trees. But the problem was that they were all dying. Tiny, dying trees. They, they looked nothing like those around Louise plantation. From one farmer to another farmer, we were driving in between for a few hours and couldn't find even one good looking healthy tree. And that's when we faced the dilemma that was so tough. Trust me, when you take a few hours long flight for one video, the last thing you want to do is to quit. But we had to because the video would be a lie. And so we left. Two years later, she wrote a post sharing her experience as if it was her decision to not work on that video. And here we are now. Thousands of people in the Philippines have something against me for no reason. And it's especially painful because most of my team is Filipino. We always love when we have an opportunity to do something good for the Philippines. And when we do that, now people are saying that it's Pinoy bait. How 
can you say that? I mean, we made 25 out of 600 videos about the Philippines. That's less than 5% of the videos I ever released about the Philippines. And many times I say that I love the mentality of Filipinos. From the day I visited, I always felt like I shared the same energy as Filipinos. A lot of energy, a lot of positivity, this youthful vibe. Very warm and welcoming. It's not right, especially now that the Project Nightfall organization is starting to help people from all around the world. We literally just had a call with a Filipino mom who needs funds to help her two autistic kids with therapy, which we will be sponsoring this week. We are planning to open a care house in the Philippines next year. And I can't believe that despite all of this, now all of this is being damaged so easily based on something that I'm not even attached to. My name is not used in all of this. It's very sad. I close every video nowadays saying that by watching our videos, you help us save lives. Because I really believe in it. Wherever you're from, whether it's Philippines, Africa or the US, I believe that I'm building a community of people who want to make the world better. And that's why I decided to record this video and clear my name and tell you what happened from my standpoint. Because if I remain silent, it's as if I am guilty of something and so whoever wants to unfollow whoever wants to leave our project nightfall mission of course it saddens me but you are free to do that the real problem is though that i'm getting so much negativity from this side of the world right now so many bad comments so many negative messages and it's especially hurtful because i know it's a lie and I know I have not done anything wrong. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending with me these few minutes. I hope I managed to help you understand a little bit better my point of view. I genuinely love you all and I hope we come out of it stronger.